I cannot love after my breakup with my ex, whom I loved. We had been together for five years and broke up because I wanted to get married and he didn't want to. I know he's not for me, but I can't stop thinking about him after two years. I think whatever you resist will persist. So don't resist thinking about him. Think about him all you want. Think about him until you're done thinking about him. Think about him until you're sick of thinking about him. But if he's not for you, then you made a choice. He made a choice and you made a choice, okay? What you focus on tends to expand. So if you continue to think about him, then those thoughts and feelings will continue to expand. But if you resist thinking about him, it's like the test if I said, don't think about red. Now, as soon as I said that, all of you that heard that saw something red. You can't think about something. You can't not think about something without thinking about it. You cannot not think about something without thinking about it. Whatever you are resisting, will you first have to have it present in your mind. That's why those things about stopping smoking, I want to stop smoking, right? Well, how about starting to breathe fresh air? You see, if you want to stop smoking, you have to resist smoking, right? So whatever you resist keeps the smoking around. How about if you turned your attention away from that and turned your attention towards <sighs> gathering lungs full of fresh, clean air? Now, I know that may sound simplistic. However, I have done it and it works. Whenever I need to uh, move on from something, I don't resist it. It's there and I let it be there. I focus on the result I want. If you are trying to lose weight, you know, resisting going to the ice box does, to the refrigerator doesn't work. Focusing on the kind of body that you want and working towards that does work. So it's the same with relationships and thoughts about someone. Focus on what you want. That's what's going to work. Focus on where you're going and what you want. I know I'm bringing in a lot of metaphors and that's so that I, you can try each one on for yourself. I've learned a lot from riding motorcycle. Your motorcycle tends to go where your eyes go. So you got to keep your eyes on where you want to go, especially when there's a lot of traffic. You don't look at the traffic. You look at the open space that you want to put your bike in. That's what's safe and that's what's reliable. You can put your bike will go where you're looking. And if you start looking at, oh, those cars are close and all that stuff, then you, you're constantly correcting uh, your guidance system. So your guidance system needs to stay focused on where it wants to go. If you get in an airplane in Los Angeles and want to fly to New York City, they put the autopilot on the exact place they want the plane to go. Now, in the in the meantime, there's winds that blow it up and down and sideways, and I would say probably 98% of the time, plane is actually off course. Plane is constantly going off course, and the autopilot is making millions of little micro corrections to keep it going in the direction that it's supposed to be going. If a plane got one eighth of an inch, off track, it could end up in Florida instead of New York, okay? So it's constantly recorrecting, constantly recorrecting. And that has nothing to do with resisting anything. It has to do with dealing with what's there, allowing it to be there, and keeping your eyes focused on where you want to go. So you said you wanted to get married. If you want to get married, focus on getting married. And focus on finding a person that would want to marry you, but also being the kind of woman that any man would, would love to marry. That would even be more extraordinary as far as I'm concerned. There are women that that hundreds of men want to marry. It's easy to, to, to find a husband in, the, in that circumstance. Be that kind of woman. Be that kind of woman. Dress like that woman. Behave like that woman. Become from the inside out. Can't just superficially fake it forever. You have to become the kind of woman that any man would love to have as a partner for his life. As long as you have your eyes focused in the rear view mirror of uh, your past relationship, then, then you're going to have a certain amount of suffering going on and that suffering would be voluntary. All suffering is voluntary. Pain is inevitable. You're going to have pain in life. It was painful for you to be with someone for five years that didn't want to marry you. It was painful to have to make a choice to leave that relationship. It may be painful to move on. If you focus on the pain, 
that's voluntary. Suffering is about focusing on pain. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is a habit. Suffering is just pro prolonged pain unnecessarily.